Sit on Mama's lap. Come on. Oh. My little baby assistant. <laughs> hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing some really useful life hacks. If you are working from home during this pandemic, it can be very tricky to navigate, especially if you're not used to it. And it's kind of looking like this might be the new normal for a really long time. So let's get right into it. So today we're gonna be talking about work from home life hacks. Um, obviously working from home can be kind of a challenge. Um, you might have pets, kids, husbands, whomever running around and distracting you. So I am going to just give you some tips and tricks to really focus on your work and not get as easily distracted. I'm not telling, I'm not saying it's going to be perfect because life is life, but at least you'll have a few tools in your belt. So you're really going to want to set up a work zone area that is just for you and all of your files and you know whatever it is that you need for your for your job um, if you don't have kind of like a designated area that's like just for your workspace and your work materials you know they're here they're there they're kind of all over the place it just becomes very jarring to the mind and it's really hard to stay focused um, I was kind of doing that. Um, I just went through kind of like a, a little transformation with my apartment. I got some, I sold some old pieces and got some new pieces in and just really helped kind of my setup. Um, it helped me kind of be able to get better into the work zone. I'm not at a hundred percent of where I want it to be at yet. I need a few more pieces to kind of complete everything um, I need a little bit more like surface space to kind of spread out um, and then I need to put up the cork board that I used to have behind me um, so I need to get that up but once that's up like everything is kind of just you know where I need it I am gonna be going through my files and organizing them a little bit easier that is actually step two or Tip number two is just make sure that all of your files and paperwork is very organized, labeled, um, just you know, color coded or however it is going to be easiest for you um, to navigate through all of your operational systems in order to just be really productive. Another tip is set office hours. Um, I mean, you might be working a nine to five type of job where you have the set hours anyway um, through an employer, but if you are a solopreneur or an entrepreneur um, or just, you know, a small team working from home right now, um, set office hours so you aren't, so you can stay focused and have, it's good, you know, if you're, especially if you're working with clients to have that set time where you have operational hours, but also just for you, like I, I do time blocking. Some people call it time batching and it's designated time to, that I dedicate to certain things that I need to get done. So 
maybe a two hour time block for marketing when you do all of your marketing materials um, and kind of go over marketing strategy and, and all of that kind of stuff. And then, you know, maybe another two hour, I do two hours of um, like personal and professional development every day, Monday through Friday. Weekends is kind of like my lax time. I can just, you know, if I if I have like a seminar or webinar or something, like I'll do that. But if not, I can just kind of relax. But Monday through Friday, very, you know, from nine to like 10 or 10.30, depending on what's going on. Those are my set hours that I dedicate to, you know, expanding my mind and trying to learn something new. I like to do inventory days, um, even if you don't have, I don't have a ton of inventory, like I don't have a ton of office supplies, um, and, but I go through things and kind of analyze what do I actually need in my home office and what is just like there taking up space, like these jars, I... I've had these for a really long time and they're not really full. I don't use them that often, um, but it's nice to have them out in case I do. So I'm gonna be monitoring, now that I have like my new office set up, I'm gonna be monitoring these jars and just, you know, am I using, like there's um, push pins for the cork board, so I, I will need these. Um, clips, binder clips, and paper clips. And I'm going to use all of these supplies. So, and these were like kind of hidden away before. So I'm going to be monitoring these to see, you know, how often am I using these? Um, and then anything that you're not using that's just taking up space, like just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Delete from your life and simplify. It feels really good. you would at a regular office have an opening and closing routine so what I like to do in the morning is well it's like on the personal side but I will have my breakfast and I'll sit you know over away from my work area I'll sit like in the kitchen the breakfast area I'll have my breakfast I'm kind of just like you know scroll through Instagram or something or listen to, I listen to the radio show in the morning, um, just to kind of start getting mentally stimulated. And then I'll take my shower and I'll do my full routine, like get dressed, hair, makeup, like all of it. Um, and then I'll have my coffee, get my coffee ready and everything. And it's just really, really important to stay in these habits as if like you were working elsewhere because it just helps to start training your mind um, it's all about habit forming so once you start getting in the habit um, it just comes more naturally but if in the beginning you kind of struggle like oh I don't really have a morning routine I don't really have you know I don't have these routines write one down like you know your ideal morning routine write down like okay what are all the closing things that I need to do I like to you know I'll close up the tabs on my laptop I close I shut down my laptop um, for the day um, just kind of tidy up my workspace if I've made a mess which I usually do it just helps your frame of mind like okay I'm I'm done for the day because otherwise you start you know working over here and I'm working over there and then it's like when will the work ever stop? It just seems like it will go on forever. Sometimes I get kind of um, restless just like sitting here at the desk all day for hours upon hours. So I'll go sit over on the sofa or on my bed or something. But when I'm done with work, I'm done with work and like that's it. So when I clock out, I clock out. I don't check any more emails. I don't do anything um, work related. I just relax and then I do my nighttime routine and it's really really been helpful 
Um, I've been sleeping better and I feel a little bit less stressed. Like I've been meditating at, at night too. So um, yeah, it just, it feels good to like have these routines. Set up your workspace so that it works for your workflow. Um, you, I'm very minimalistic. Like my workspace is very simple. Um, for now, it might get a little bit more. I have to get a few more pieces, but um, you know, I don't like to have things that aren't necessary and go through those old files. I actually am gonna be doing that this week. Um, you know, I have a bunch of folders that have old stuff in there and it's like, this is just taking up space. And I'm a firm believer that a cluttered mind is just so unproductive and it's just not gonna be helpful for anybody. So um, get rid of clutter, get rid of anything that you're not using, donate it, sell it. Um, I get rid of a lot of things on either Facebook Marketplace or on the Nextdoor app. That's always nice because, you know, it's just people in your neighborhood and also it could potentially be good networking or just any type of human interaction if you haven't had any for a while. Um, but yeah, for more life hacks and advice for solopreneurs, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. Um, as always, stay safe and we'll see you next time.